Hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where I go back to one of my older videos and look at some of the more interesting comments. This time I'm going back to the I Hate Psy video, one of the worst videos I've ever made. I hate that video. I'm not even going to link it here because I hate it so much. So a lot of people have been saying that there haven't been much comebacks to these comment comebacks, it's just been sort of comment. So let's do it like I used to do it. <coughs> Somehow that in their mind makes it relevant to my video. I, It, it would prove nothing mal maladden and I'm not going to do it, so go away. This this comment comes in from Scoth Senpai. God, you are a true cunt. Thinking your music is so superior. The wrong generation, annoying satire. Well, you were just the biggest moron. The biggest moron idiot. That's the sort of thing I'd used to say instead of, you know. You can just go watch one of my older comic comebacks for an old comic comeback. This is new generation. Yeah, long, wrong generation. We're in the new generation now. The new generation of comic comebacks, but seriously. I really do hate that video. I really do fucking despise that I hate Psy video. I mean, does anyone remember when music used to be good? It might be, it might be the worst thing anyone has ever made. It's that awful. I, I fucking hate every single, every single second of that video. <laughs> well, how about that? I can't even, I can't even imitate my own voice. My own voice from when I started this fucking channel. I can't, how, how did I do it? How, I can't even get my voice to do that same thing where I'm just, I just sound like I don't care. <laughs> I'm like really quiet as well. Hi there, um... I can't even do- I can't even do it! But one thing that I really regret saying is Do you remember when music used to be good? Does anyone remember when music used to be good? Because that's such a- such a dick thing to say, because it's not true at all. Sure, a lot of mainstream music is fucking garbage, but you know, it's still good music if you look for it. I never really thought- I didn't really think my music was superior though. I don't really think my taste of music is superior, it's definitely different to the mainstream and not in like a oh I'm I'm such a snowflake sort of way but just yeah it's different I, uh, and that's not the reason why I don't like fucking Gangnam style I hate I hate everything oh it's that old chestnut comes in with I think you're mad about his popularity why does everyone always default to that you only don't like Transformers because it's so popular and makes all the money no I don't like it because it's shoddy filmmaking you only don't like Psy because it's popular and everyone's enjoying it I do admit I usually hate things that everyone else enjoys because I hate everything and I want everything to burn. But really, though, that, that has nothing to do with it. I just think his music sucks, whether it's popular or not. You know, it'd be harder to find if no one cared. Even then, is the same song, if some artist uploaded it to their, like, YouTube channel that had 100 subscribers, then it would still be equally awful. I think Psy is better than the Beatles, no reason, just preference. Well, A, you're a fucking idiot, and B, I really regret saying that as well. I, I, for some fucking stupid reason, I thought, I know what would be a good idea to write into the script. How about we compare Psy to the Beatles and Johnny Cash? What a wonderful, just so relevant, all of that. Way to make yourself not look like a huge prick. Because you think it's on par with, say, the Beatles or Johnny Cash. I think, I think, just, we have to accept this now. Kids, these new people, the... The new generations of people, they're not going to care about the Beatles. They're not going to care about Johnny Cash. They're not going to care about anything. Apart from Nicki Minaj and all the other ladies with the big, the big bums. So we can either revel in our hate for all the children in the world, or we can continue knowing that these things still exist and enjoy them. I know which one I'm going to do. The Beatles are as overrated as Psy. I don't even think I need to say anything to this one. I'm just gonna go to the next one now. <laughs> no, 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 no. This sucks. It's catchy and cool and better than all your mean vids. Go throw your videos in a fire and keep your opinions to you. So we agree on something then. We want everything to burn. Well, you just want my videos to burn, but you know. So a lot of comments on this video saying, This is really mean. You're just, you're so mean. You're like a bully. You're like an internet bully. Mm-hmm. It's great. I'm sure that, I'm sure Sai really cares that a completely insignificant YouTube channel made a video about him that he'll never, ever, ever see. And even if he did see it, you wouldn't understand it anyway. Not because he's like an idiot or anything, but because he, he can't speak English very well, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many comments I've got saying, keep your opinion to yourself. 
that's offensive. Why are you saying this? You shouldn't say these things. Keep it to yourself, you idiot. Comments like that, along those lines. Do they not realize what they are saying in the comments themselves? Keep your opinions to you. Then why should I do that if you're allowed to tell me that I have to keep my opinions to myself? A little bit hypocritical. Right there, isn't it? So this guy who's clearly Asian in some way, I assume John Yoon is a Asian name. I googled it and a lot of Asian people showed up in the picture, so I, I can safely guess that maybe he is Asian, especially because of the comments. He seems kind of offended. Your voice tone sounds like you are disrespecting Asian people, either consciously or subconsciously. I think that you are disgusted with stuff from Asia in general, and you think it's okay to make fun of or be disrespectful to Asian people or their culture like other cunts on the internet. And it doesn't end there, he kept, just kept going. You little orange head ginger sack of shit. Let me just dispel the, the myth that I'm ginger, I'm not. I was trying to find like a really, really dark blonde color. Is that even a dark blonde? Is that a thing? But then with on the red background it always makes it look um, orange. I don't- I've- I'm- I have blonde hair. I don't have ginger hair, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair, but... It just keeps going. It seems like stupid inbred British buck-tooth cunts nowadays seem to make fun of Asian people. We'll talk about them in a disrespectful tone. How- how- how is that even possible? Subconsciously having a tone in your voice that disrespects Asian people? The fact that Sai is Asian has nothing to do with anything. It wouldn't matter if a man, woman, Alien, dog, green person, orange person, yellow person, rainbow person, no matter who it is, if they sang any of those songs or had anything to do with them, then I'm not gonna like their weird music. This is one of the ones where I actually named someone in the title of the video, because really this the video should have been called I Hate Size Music, because as is with like pretty much anything I ever talk about, whether it's another YouTube channel or a director or any of these things, you're not criticizing the person, you're criticizing like, their art, if you want to call these things art. Basically, you can dislike someone's content without disliking them as a person. I'm sure Sai is f f a person who's fine. I, I don't know. The fact he's Asian has nothing to do with anything. Nasty, but true. And just because it's catchy just means it's really bad. The name, th this person's name is kind of fitting because you fucked up with this comment because I have no idea what you're trying to say. I was expecting actual reasons. This was a shit video. So I suppose it's fair to assume that when you go to a video of this type, you was, you're expecting some kind of reasoning as to why they feel the way they do, but then when, it, when it's flipped the other way, when you're commenting that you didn't like the video and you think it's shit, you don't need to give your reasons. Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> yeah, all new music is total ass. Yeah, I don't like this attitude. The music, the music is so, the, it's so broad, you'll, your favorite song probably exists somewhere and you'll never hear it because there's that much music being produced and has already that has already been produced that just exists. So saying that is kind of stupid. I regret saying whatever I said. At the same time though, I, I, wrote, I wrote it all as a fucking joke. If it is a joke, you hear me? Take all with a grain of salt, it doesn't matter, it's a fucking stupid YouTube video, who gives a shit? Not sure if you're trolling or just stupid. You're fucking stupid. Don't be a dick to a British person. I fucking wish I had a British... British... Ascent. Racist fuck. Now what I, I think, um, I think this person replied to a comment, but they, they didn't reply to a comment though, they just sort of posted the comment in no context at all. So at first I thought they were talking to me, and then I saw the rest and was like, wait, they're, who, who? But mainly, uh, b being British isn't a race. There are plenty of different race, races of people that live in the UK, so you can hate British people without it being racist. So let's round this this episode off with the assaholic comment of the episode. Wait, no, it's called the assaholic bitch comment of the episode, something like that. I'll just put it on the screen, I can't remember. But this time it's from Nathan Fire Flower Fan, who's clearly six years old. Arrow pointing to Fire Mario from Smash Bros Brawl. Screw off, Sai, or I'll set you on fire. I don't understand why anyone would ever comment this, what, what the point is, why this would ever even go through anyone's head. And then when you actually think about what he's saying, it's probably the stupidest thing ever said by anyone. Screw off Sai. Yeah, I'm sure he's watching the video or is, you know, relevant at all to a YouTube video, or you'll set him on fire. I think that insinuating that you're Fire Mario and you're gonna shoot fire at him. I doubt you're Fire Mario with the fire flower thing that can shoot the fireballs, so that's that, I suppose. Thank you, Nathan, for the comment. <laughs>
So there's the new comment comeback that I just made, and I'm at the end of now. What did you think? What are your favorite comments, and what are your least favorite comments? Did you like or dislike the video? Tell me in the comments below. So hopefully I can one day make a comment comeback of a comment comeback. Now that would be something, wouldn't it, boys and girls? And so, as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and other channel, Jar Media, for more craziness. I'll see you next time. Bye!